Hey, I want to talk to you about confidence. I'm going to butcher this quote. I remember the gist of it. Uh, but it was George Carlin talking about being confident on stage. Imagine you're riding in a taxi in New York City. You're going, you're probably looking at your phone. You're not really paying attention. The cabbie might be making shortcuts and taking crazy routes. You're not paying attention. Because the cabbie or the Uber driver doesn't seem nervous. So you're willing to put your safety in that person's hands because of the confidence. Now, if the driver is like, huh, huh, are you okay back there? Huh, is this right? Is this? Then you're going to start to panic. That's what it's like being a comic. Be confident enough that the crowd trusts you to drive them wherever you want to take them. I'm going to go through seven tips of how to be more confident. I hate doing, <laughs> I'm so, I'm so against so many things. And <laughs> it's funny. Um, Red Bar Radio talked about this channel again, and I'm not doing a video on it because I don't want unearned subscribers. This, this channel is for comics who want to get better. And so it's, it's important to me that the people that do tune in are really... I mean, anybody can tune in. Don't get me wrong. Anybody can subscribe. But I feel like I have to earn it. I don't want to ride somebody else's coattails. So that's why I don't do lists or all these things that I see on YouTube where you're supposed to hook the viewer into watching the whole thing. You'll watch it or you won't. All right. So these are the, the seven things. I had, I'm giving you a list because this is the only way I remember it. Um, number one, I made a video early on. Uh, I'm going to point to both sides because I'll place it on one of them. Go to it. Just look it up. That's the title in the thumbnail. Uh, it's all about visualizing. Go to the stage early. Go on stage. Do your act. Visualize. It'll help you. More details in that video. Number two. Know your material. This may seem like entry-level stuff, but you can't go up there and wing it. You have to know your material frontward and backward, side to side, upside down. If I grab you in the shower and say, do your best five minutes, you should be able to do it right then. It's something you have to have ingrained in your body, in your soul, in your mind, in your blood, in your veins. You have to know it. Memorization should not be a question. This way you're not up there trying to recite things, fumbling for words. You should have it down pat. Number three, now that you know your material, trust your material. Trust that it's going to work. You've tried it out. You've tested it. It's worked in the past. Trust it. Give it the, the full presentation, the full performance. If a joke doesn't work, don't just abandon all the tags. Maybe one of the tags will unlock what you're trying to say and the audience will get it. If it doesn't, go rework the joke. But be confident. You wrote this. This is something that you birthed. Like Willie, you jumping? All right, stay up here. They like you on camera. Do the material the honor of trusting it to work. I mean, why else write material if you're going to bail on it? Number four, tell them it's funny. Don't ask them if it's funny. You're doing your material. You do a bit. If it doesn't get a laugh, move on. Don't worry about their response. You've already tried it out. You know that it works. You know that it's funny because it makes you laugh. When, when you're asking if it's funny, it's, your, your voice starts to go up at the end of a sentence. You're, you're looking around for their approval. You're pausing too long to see if they laugh or to telegra tra telegraph. Telegraph that this is the end, this is the punchline, ta-da! Don't do that. Present it to them. Let them figure it out. Who are they to judge comedy? 
You're the professional here. Don't ask them if it's funny. Tell them that it's funny. Just like I'm doing now with you. Do you see how I'm talking with you? I'm not saying, um, tell them it's funny. No, I'm looking down the barrel of my iPhone 14 Max Pro. Is it Pro? And I'm telling you, tell them it's funny. Don't ask them. Number five, to really boost your confidence, don't get concerned with the audience by looking at each and every one of them, especially in their eyes. Here's what you do instead. You look slightly above their eyes. Can you tell that I'm doing that with where I normally look at the camera right now? I'm not. See where I am? This is me looking directly at the spot I normally look at, which is slightly to the side of the lenses. This is me looking slightly above where it's a bit more out of focus. The reason why I do that when I'm performing, well, there's two reasons. One, I'm codependent and I don't want to put any of my jokes on an individual person or table because I talk about crazy stuff and I don't want them to feel obligated to laugh. Another reason why I don't look at the crowd too much is I don't want to see that one table that isn't laughing and then get it in my head that I need to win them over. The rest of the audience is laughing. I can hear them laughing. I can see it without focusing on them. If I draw all my attention to them, I'm trying to prove something to them. Maybe they got a text that something went wrong or... I don't know, maybe they're arguing. Maybe they had a fight before they came in. Maybe they just don't like me. Who cares? Everyone else is having fun. So I don't, I don't want to play to this group and reward negative behavior. I don't want to win them over. Who are they to judge? They're paying to see me. I'm not paying to see them. Number six, body posture. How are you carrying yourself? If, I, if I'm feeling a little bit down and I'm, I'm doing my material like this, I'll, I'll sit up or stand up straighter. I'll lock in. I'll, I'll start moving more. I'll start stretching out. Sometimes I actually, I'll, I'll literally do yoga on stage. Like if they drop the checks and I have a few minutes I have to kill while they're paying attention to carving up the bill between the rest of them, I'll start stretching and go, oh, I need a break. I need a, a short break from entertaining you. Oh, I've been so wonderful tonight. I need just a moment for me to bring myself back down to center. I just make something up. Usually the crowd laughs because it's so unexpected. It'll snap them out of their little trance that they're in. But if you're... Delivery style is like this. That's okay. But still, shake it up a little bit. Sometimes I'll, I said in another video, I'll stand up because I sit a lot of times. I'll stand up and I'll start shaking. So when you have better posture and you stand up confidently, your, your chin up, your eyes forward, your nipples shooting out like lasers towards the back wall, it sends signals through your central nervous system to your brain that I feel good. I'm confident. I'm a winner. And number seven, slow it down. If you're rushing, people can tell. Shh. Go slowly. You could tell I'm rushing, right? Willie knows. He knows. He's a good critic of comedy. But even if you're rapid fire... You can't be so fast that the audience can't understand what you're saying. It can't be all jumbled. Because how does a nervous person talk? They, they start getting fidgety and they, they talk all over the place and they're over here and over there. If you're calm, cool, and collective, in a minute, in a minute, you, it, it breeds confidence. It, there's a lot of things that we pick up on subconsciously as human beings because we're analyzing, we're, we're reading body language and tone and um, the pace, all of that. 
If you get dry mouth, take a sip of water, but slow it down. You could still be rapid fire. But if I'm trying to do everything this quickly and get that electricity and that excitement and keep that roll of laughter going, sometimes if I just slow it down, people will pay more attention. Do you see how I was very confident in saying that? Even while Willie's biting my hand. Do you really think that's good for these videos? For our 385 subscribers? They're going to be distracted. They're going to think that this is unprofessional. All right, jump up. You want to be in the you want to be in the show so bad? Come on. Jump up. Up. There he goes, huh? Look at this cutie. Look at this little cutie. So slow it way down. Remember, the people are there to see you. They want to be entertained. So you're already starting off with a win. You should already be confident hitting that stage. Trust your material. Know your material. Visualize before you even hit the stage. Go there early and see it all happening in your mind before the audience gets there. Sell your material to them. Give it to them. Don't ask them what they think. Don't look them straight in the eye unless you're really trying to get a point across. You can look slightly above and nobody will know the difference. You can look all around the stage. This doesn't mean that I'm not confident. This doesn't tell you, the viewer, that I'm not confident. Because I'll come back to it every once in a while when I need to make a certain point. You get it? Good. I'll see you in the next video. I love you. Oh, he's running, he's running. He's running, he's running. He's running, he's running. He's a willy. Boop.